all the way down to the bottom. We're like on a mountain. I guess I picked the spot to be some awesome place, and this is this is a good embark spot. I'm just not a good embark e, and I'm not a good embark er. I guess not an embark e. That'd be the crew. Ah well, good times, folks. Good times. Hopefully, I can make enough episodes out of this to last us. Uh, until, uh, sorry, I have to stretch out until uh, the new amazing stuff comes. I'm, I'm hoping at least it is. I'm pretty sure it will be, but you never know. So stay tuned, I guess. Remember, these don't have, don't have proper endings, so it'll end at any time without you even knowing. Let's make the new hangout. I'm pretty sure if you press I um, in place a zone, I'll make this entire area in here a uh, the meeting area, I guess. Yeah. In fact, wait a minute. Is there any ponds? Yes. I'm pretty sure I could actually come out here and do go like that. And uh, now this will be a water source and a fishing area. So maybe they'll go and have a drink up there, or the animals will? Oh, and it's now summer. Okay. Oh yes, we also need a place for the animals to roam freely and happily, prancing about in the fields. You bronies would know all about it. Sick. Never mind. Never mind. I never said anything. I respect. I respect them. They're brave men. They're brave men. Um, and women. Can there be women and bronies? Are they like I, I don't, brawnies and a? I don't even know. Maybe that's an. I, I think that's another thing. Never mind. I, I'm just pondering upon myself with all the possibilities of. I don't think I'm much worse um, or much better. However you say it. There's the W, trampling the halls. A stray water buffalo cow. The water buffalo moving through the halls. All the crew um, in the bar drinking and throwing up and having a bar fight. Water buffaloes questioning themselves and trampling around, knocking over the dwarves, spilling the, the beer. No, there's no beer. Uh, they're getting drunk off of um, the sewer water on the ground. What's that? What's that? Whoa. A swarm of flies. These dwarves stink. They haven't had a bath in ages. Oh, well, since we have a door down here, I might as well um, mine out this little thing right here. There we go. Just have a miner go down there and do that. Flood the um, farm area. I'm almost tempted just to flood the but, you know, I think I will. I think I will um, flood the station and see how the dwarves, um, if the dwarves can survive it, if the dwarves can handle it. Let's see, can I build a wall? Um, I believe that's capital C, yeah. We're going to lock these dwarves in. Um, and this will be like a test of their, of their might. With obsidian... <laughs> We're going to lock them in with obsidian, folks. Um, we are very cruel people, but I never said I wasn't cruel, so you can't hold me against that. Let's see, um, we're actually going to make a new stone one right here with all this extra room, I guess. That'd be a good use of it. Not like it matters anymore. Not like it really matters. Okay, um, so yeah, there we go. Now that is that area right there. I'm pointing at it with my finger, but you can't see that. Um, yeah, it's all flooded. Um, you know, I'm thinking that's a bad idea now, because I'm pretty sure it'll stay flooded for the rest of eternity. But, you know, it doesn't matter. It's all good. You know what I think I'll do? Um, I'll actually make a few entry points. This is like a test. Since, since I'm probably there gonna die anyways I might as well do this in the name of science and see see how this happens how this works 
how, how if the dwarves can uh, make it or break it. If you made it at this point and you're seeing this now and you're like, yes, I get to see the exciting stuff, well, you're the lucky winner. You're the lucky person who managed to stay and uh, get the reward in seeing this awesome sauce happen. Um, this awesome science. Science! Woo! Yes, I would be throwing up my fists and, like, cheer. Like, you know, the one meme of the guy going, you can't, you can't, he has, like, his head down, the fist up. I do that so many times. That is, that is a real life thing, folks. Oh. Oh. Oh, right there is good. Okay. Um, sorry, I went a bit Scottish there. I always go a little bit Scottish there, lad. I like the, I like the cold frosties. Sorry. I, I'm kind of an in-person impersonator too. Not an impersonator, but I'm, I can do impressions, impersonations, I guess. Not the best, but I'm annoying like that. Or funny. Or however you want to interpret it, I guess. I don't usually like to talk about um, real-world stuff whenever I'm doing a game, but in this instance, um, when we're not in a real game that requires immersion, I guess it would if um, we had a long dwelling fortress and we had a connection with the dwarves. Um, but as of right now, I mean, we were immersed, but now since we're doing all this science, there's no need. No need for this pitiful creativity. It's time for science! Woo! Okay. Sorry for the loud woos. Probably breaking my Camtasia recording. You hear like a huge cracking, crippling sound. Right, so now is the time. The time of my life. And I owe it all to you. Okay, I promise. No more singing. I promise. I have to break that habit. I must break it. It's like cigarettes or smoking. Or beer. It's a habit. It's me broken. I'm just quoting songs, I guess. I'm not really singing, I'm just quoting them. Yeah, it's quoting, not singing. Ha! Take that! Um, I know a certain necromancer won't enjoy it at all. But I'm pretty sure that certain necromancer won't have the pleasure of ever seeing this. Right. Pyromancers and necromancers do not get along. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, at least, that that's what I what I think, or what I thought. Might not be the case. There goes the miner, mining out that wall, and he runs off. Here comes the flood. That m miner to the south is going to mine out that last one. And now it's up to the dwarves to try and survive there. There's the wall that's blocking them off. Now it's up to them to try and survive. <laughs> 